Hey everyone, here's our math problem for today. What is the infinite truth of infinity? I've been thinking about this problem for several weeks now. I do not know what's the value of this number, nor this number exist, but out of pure curiosity, let's solve this problem together. My first impulse when solving a problem is to try to visualize the problem. And so, using Desmos graphing calculator, here is what I found. We know that radicals are equivalent to fractional exponent, so we can write this as infinity raised to 1 over infinity. Then graphing x raised to 1 over x, here is the graph. At x equals 1, we have a value of 1 over raised to 1 over 1, which is 1. And this is the point here. At x equals 2, we have 1.4142 and so on, which is about this point. Before proceeding to 3, I tested e, which is about 2.7, and that gives me this value here, which happens to be the maximum height of this red function. Then for values of x greater than e, the function is decreasing. And it keeps on decreasing so that at about x equals 80, we have this point that is now closer to 1 compared to when x is equal to 2. And at x equals 100 million, the value of the function is closer and closer to 1. And so we suspect that the value of this expression is 1. But how are we going to solve mathematically that the value of x raised to 1 over x as x approaches infinity is indeed 1? Well, we are going to use again our friend calculus. We let the value of the original expression, the infinite root of infinity, to be certain number L. This expression can also be written as L equals the limit of certain variable x raised to 1 over the same variable x as that variable approaches infinity. Substituting infinity to the variable, we have this form at the right, which is equivalent to the infinite truth of infinity. Since we have here an exponent that is a variable, then we'll take the natural logarithm of both sides to do away with the exponents. And so we take ln of both sides. Now the natural logarithm is continuous for x greater than 0. And since our x value here is approaching infinity, we know that ln is continuous and therefore, this expression at the right side, ln of the limit of x raised to 1 over x as x approaches infinity, is just the same as the limit of ln of x raised to 1 over x as x approaches infinity. So the ln of the limit is equal to the limit of the ln. Then from the properties of logarithm, this exponent 1 over x can now be appended to the front of the ln. And so we now arrive at 1 over x times the ln of x. We copy all the rest. So this is multiplication. We multiply the numerator and we multiply the denominator to arrive at 1 times ln of x equals ln of x and the denominator is x times 1 or x. Then we copy all the rest. Then let's simplify this further. Evaluating now this limit of ln of x over x as x approaches infinity, we have ln of infinity, which is infinity over infinity which is an indeterminate form. And this is a form that enables us to use the L'Hopital's rule. According to this rule, when evaluating the limit, the result is an indeterminate form, infinity over infinity, then we can also find the limit of this expression by taking the limit of the derivative of the expression, which we arrive at this form. So from here, we have this last line. Notice that we now have the derivative of the numerator here, divided by the derivative of the denominator. Then let's simplify this. What is the derivative of ln of x? That is 1 over x. And the derivative of x is of course 1. And we copy all the rest. Simplifying 1 over x divided by 1 is 1 over x. Then from here, let's substitute infinity to x. And that gives us a value of 0. Because if the denominator x approaches infinity, then 1 over a very large number would be equal to 0. So we have the natural log of L is equal to 0. This is not yet our answer because we want to find the value of L. What we have here is the natural log of L. And so we take the exponential of both sides. E raised to ln of L is equal to E raised to 0. Now the right side is equal to 1 because any number raised to 0 is 1. The left side E and ln are inverse operations that cancel each other's effect. So, the left side is just L and the right side is equal to 1. And this is now the value of L. So, 
the infinite truth of infinity is equal to one, and that is consistent with the visual representation that we arrive at. And this problem is now solved. And see the beauty of mathematical thinking.